Hey, hi all, um, uh, my name is Ada Draginda um, and I'm a staff data engineer at Notion. Um, and I want to share uh, some of the work that I've been doing on automating the propagation of metadata, including tags. So it was really interesting hearing and exciting to hear that like tag propagation is coming. Um, I'm doing some of this uh, by using scripts. Um, so here's here's like a like boiled down version of like what we're trying to do. So we have some metadata to describe our data sets. Things like, um, is this data set exposed externally? Is this driving metrics? Um, and we want to use that metadata to come up with a priority tag to say like, you know, like this is a higher priority data set that needs to be um, like triaged if there's an issue. Um, so we take that information, that metadata, calculate a priority, and then set that priority as a as a custom property um, on our data hub data set and tag it. Um, but as part of that, uh, upstream dependencies of that table should also reflect that same metadata. Um, so like in this case, we have this upstream table and it doesn't drive company metrics. And so it had a lower priority, but because that table is used to derive the other table, we should we wanna bump it up. Um, we also want to separate the fact that that is like an inferred or like implied um, uh, uh, requirement for that table. So we want to like separate that metadata out. So we're keeping track of like what is this what is this data set actually used for, and what is this uh, downstream dependencies need from it. So see like how um, I did this automatically. So what's needed? I'm going to need to get the metadata from um, our models. We're using dbt. Um, so we'll need the metadata from the model. We'll need the upstream dependencies. Um, we need to fetch the current metadata from Data Hub. We'll need to be able to write that metadata back and add and remove tags. Now, fortunately, dbt gives us the first two automatically. We could probably use Data Hub as well to get the upstream dependencies with lineage somehow. I didn't look into that, but um, it was just available in dbt, so I just used that. Um, so those two things are covered, but the other three, we don't have anything for that. So um, uh, I went to the wonderful API, which gives uh, all this functionality. Um, so you can get the metadata out by searching for the entity. Um, I used the Python emitter to send the metadata back. Um, and then there's this add or remove tags endpoint. Um, but it's actually like a lot of boilerplate code um, when it all went together. And this is just like a slice of some of the things that we're trying to do. So um, I bundled it all together into a little open source project that's available here, um, hosted by Notion, um, that uh, covers so it's like a subset of the full API. I, I didn't, I only covered the parts that we needed, um, but maybe it's still of use to people. Um, and then here's how a, like a skeleton of the code that actually does that work. So I go and get the dbt resources. I get the data hub entries. Um, and I have a little, little custom cluster to make it easier to work with the entities. Um, and that's in that open source project. Then I go through the entities, match it with the data, uh, with the dbt models, calculate the priority tag, get the existing priority tag, and then there's like some business logic to decide like whether or not we should change the tag, add it, or remove it. Um, then I get the existing metadata, combine it with the new metadata, and emit it if needed. There should be an if in there. Um, and then finally, uh, batch set and remove the tags since there's like a batch endpoint. So you like for a given tag, set it for all of these resources, which is why I do it this way instead of one at a time. Um, yeah, so uh, thank you so much for making the API easy to work with. Um, and hopefully that my little open source project makes that easier for other people. Um, if you go in, look, take a look um, at the repo, there's an examples folder, which has like the full gory details of how all of this works. Um, and it also has a little bonus example of like a script I wrote to like automate, um, putting in um, a like, little header at the top of each of our dbt models. It goes through the dbt manifest 
reads in the SQL, and then adds a little header at the top that gives you a link to the Data Hub page. And we found that extremely useful for people so that when they're working with the source code, they can just jump right to the um, to the Data Hub page. Um, and that's in there too. That's as part of the package. Cool. Thanks.